Okay, in this video I thought I'd look at some eBay searches. These are ones that I commonly do. So the first one is Meccano Vintage Star Wars. And that's uh, French stuff. So you've got that. That's a recard, 299 quid. Meccano Jawa, 235. That's a really common one. Another Jawa there. Then some loose figures in Meccano baggies. You can see how expensive they are. This one, 2,200 quid. That'd be, I mean, that's a really nice one. It's not too rare, but you know, and then there's this one. Emperor's Royal Guard, Star Wars, Can of France, Meccano no Ku, but the condition's pretty. You know, and you've got 88 in a Meccano bag. You've got this one. Wow, three, four, 4,000 quid almost from the United States. That's a Meccano square card, Lando Carissian. And you've got um, R2D2 in a French Return of the Jedi card. Pretty tatty, but still, I mean, it's AFA 30. Then you've got the. Return of the Jedi, it's AFA 70, 2,465 quid. And then this is a Palatoy Meccano box, Wampa, 476 quid. Speeder bike, Meccano European box. So you get an idea how uh, expensive uh, French stuff is. And then we could have a quick look at glass lighting. So, got the Chewbacca there, loose. Got the TIE Fighter. Got Vlix, the real thing, 50,000 or almost 48,392 pounds. <laughs> Legendary figure that, Princess Leia loose. Uh, boxes, just the boxes, X-Wing, Leia again, Snow Trooper, the TIE Fighter, these, got the droids, that's just, uh, I mean I've got that figure recently graded, so that's that lot, then we're looking at Polish bootlegs, so if you want to see a good channel on obviously action figure grader so there's an Ewok 328 pounds 70 unarticulated figure this Han Solo I've got that one I got my one from Germany this one I've got recently very kindly sent to me as a gift Polish third generation I guess Boba Fett. Obviously, because it's Boba Fett, he's worth a fortune. Another Boba Fett there. Lots of Polish um, ATST drivers. Hanana, you know. That's not a real deal, I think. That's a uh, custom. Another Boba Fett. Darth Vader. The Imperial Gunner. Lando Christian, Silver Stormtrooper. I've got the Gold Storm Stormtrooper. Darth Vader graded. Barada. These two. I've got the Spanish version of that figure. More Hoff Rebel Soldier. I've got that one. ATST, General Veers or AT Attack Commander, three for 122, then uh, Attack Deluxe. So those are the Polish figures. We look at 12 backs. Takara, I've just shown that one. Palatoy UK card with the logo 
R2D2, Ben Kenobi 12 back, R2 Palatoy there, Peel, I mean Death Squad Commander, 12 back Stormtrooper, Han Solo 65 back, R2D2, Italian Darth Vader, 8 grand, C3PO, must be a 21 back. Oh, it is a 12 back. 60, that's why. Luke Skywalker, he's really expensive these days. Darth Vader, Palatoy card. R2D2, C3PO. Uh, ben Kenobi. Luke Skywalker. R2D2. So you get an idea how expensive. Five grand for that Luke. Beautiful figure though. Jara and some new figures. Japanese Darth Vader. My, I've got that, but mine's only AFA seventy-five. Guest Ariari. Imperial Death Squad Commander. Harbert Italian. Ben Kenobi White Hair. Twelve back C Obi Wan. Doesn't give the grade though. So 12 backs are pretty up there. This is a nice Japanese variation. It's got the white background on Darth Vader. C3PO. R2 again. Palatoy uh, Sand People. Guest of the Ari. Chewie. I mean, about 25 years ago, those Italian figures were quite cheap in the UK. I wish I bought more than what I did. I mean, I've got the Italian R2-D2. There's this R2-D2 again, Luke Skywalker. So, 12 backs are really expensive. Let's go to the next uh, thing. Oritet, so these are Russian bootlegs. So this this seller here has loads of them. I'm getting one of these. So I love this pink bosk. You got the Chewbacca's same seller. You got this. He's selling this as well, which action figure grader just got. I mean, it's really rare with the weapon. Carded. Forty quid from Russia. With love. And then more of the pink Bob Fett, I mean Boss, Darth Vader, Oritet. So these are early 2000s, late 90s. There's a carded example. You can get three on card. There's the Yoda. Another pink Boss, great looking figure. And this one here. The Attack. Attack. Driver or a tet. Very nice. These are Mexican figures, Lila days in the UK. 120 for that. I've got that one. The Luke Best Bin. Chief Chirper. Gamerian Guard, Darth Vader, Prune Face. Emperor. I just got the Emperor on the Lily Lede, UKG graded. Uh, Reese, he's quite an easy one to find. C3PO, he's tough. Nian Nam, Emperor, Gamerian Guard. Some figures that were MIMS, mint, uh, sold in the US on Return of the Jedi cards are quite common. But. I mean, to find carded this stuff is really expensive. Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Chief Chirper again, the Yoda with a removable hood. So, all of those. Then we've got PPB, Spanish figures. Always Man, Dengar. Dengar's got pale skin. Lando, there's quite a few versions of Lando, Paleface, Han Hoff, 
Rebel Soldier, that's a dark brown. Snaggletooth Red. Wars Man, made in Spain. Bosque, this one there. Hard Torso Stormtrooper. Wars Man again. Another, I think this is the same one. So you get an idea there. We're looking at vintage Star Wars tri logo, so famous Boba Fett. Got some customs there. Got this uh, Tebow. Got the Leia. I just showed this one. Leia Endor, Emperor, Emperor, I mean. R5D4 just shown that one, I think. Boba Fett, that's a custom. The Han trench coat got that one. Reyes, Wicket, R5 again. This pack, Snootles Band, three pack. Try logo. Prune Face, got him. Gamerian Guard from the Stefan Forcourt book. Luke Stormtrooper. This one, Luke Poncho, just shown that one. Romba. I mean, Romba has a totally different picture to the, compared to the um, Power of the Force version. But, I mean, tri logos are getting harder to find these days. All the Paplus and Lumats are made in Mexico, the figure. Nice card. Rebel Soldier, Imperial Dignitary, 8D8, just shown that one as well, Emperor again, this one is Lumat, so Lumat has different colours to the Return of Jedi card, next lot I'm looking at are Vintage figures, Star Wars vintage figures, so you're going to get a mixture of Star Wars vintage plus um, vintage collection, Hammerhead, 20 back, Dr. Afra, Darth Vader, Paplu, trading cards, Oddball, there's uh, Amana Man, Nice, cool looking figure that. A lot of customs now. So you have to read carefully. Return of the Jedi card. I mean, that's really cheap. I think I might check that one out later. Luke, try logo again. Power Droid. Let's look at. What well, I was looking at AFA figures and last. So there are a couple of brown haired Luke's ending on that might be worth checking out. There's the Lily Lede Rebel Commander. Another Luke there, brown hair. UKG eighty five. The figure highly sought. There's an Interceptor 4 with an Attack Driver. Uh, ben Kenobi, 260 quid. Luke Skywalker, Best Spin. Spanish PPP. So it's got a, should have the dark green boots, but it doesn't seem to. Um, what the heck is that? Imperial Attack Base graded. 29 quid for a Dengar. It's an 80 graded. So. Wars Man. Wars Man's quite, you know, the Hong Kong Wars Man's quite cheap these days. Well, not cheap, but, you know, compared to others. Han Solo. Princess Leia. She's expensive, Princess Leia. The original white outfit. The Oratec there, Chewbacca. 
uh, R2D2 75. No one's bid on that yet. TIE Fighter, Palatoy Luke X Wing, uh, Jawa 274. 77 back. I mean, there's a R5D4 with a red bar, and that's a really, you know, that's like a major figure now to try and track down. Cool. And there's that tri logo um, Gamerian Guard that was used in the book S4 Corp. Jawa. <laughs> you know who's selling that is uh, Toy Tony. His, his seller name is Masking. Then you've got um, Stormtrooper No Ku. Another Luke, Stormtrooper Jawa, Han, 88, Millennium Falcon, just a box I'd say. Oh, it is boxed. Rancor, Snaggletooth, Attack Driver. Uh, low grey and the glider graded Lando Luke 400 quid for China Coup Wars Man Dark Skin number one on the boot Klaatu clatu has got a lot of variations. Low grey again. Low grey's got like in, in terms of the stripes, like dark stripes, light stripes, countries of origins. Death Star Droid's quite expensive as well, loose graded because of finding them in good condition. There's another layer. See, so you've got one for 120. That's UKG 80. This one's 85. Luke Brown Head 375 Emperor Han Carbonite Squid Head Imperial uh, Commander Wamba on the um, I've seen a, 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 an 80 Wamba carded for about 150 which is probably a better price Jawa on the Power of the Force card I mean, these days you see more uh, just graded loose figures rather than carded figures. I mean, I think people now, I mean, me and Action Figure Grader were discussing this, that people are more into the variations with the actual figures. You know, because you can get about three or four variations. There's a 2-1-B, 300 quid, Empire card. ATST pilot, very nice. Clear bubble on that one. Nian Nam, Luke, Boba Fett, made in Taiwan. That's a uh, biker scout, 275. So you get the idea, everything. I mean, a lot of bagged figures and stuff like that. Barada. Let's go back. Anyway, you, you get the idea. I'm just waffling on about Star Wars figures, so hopefully this gives you an idea of what's available and all that sort of stuff. Cheers, goodbye.